Good morning everyone. I would like to begin with a quote. Your success depends on the amount of dedication and this is the best time to dedicate yourself to the learning process. This is the best time to dedicate yourself to the learning process and develop the habit of learning. Without wasting any time further, I would like to start with a new topic which is zero order reaction. In the last class, according to rate law, what we have learned is R is equals to K, A to the power M, B to the power N, where M and N represent the order. So for zero order reaction, the rate is independent of concentration of reactant. The rate is independent of concentration of reactant. Let us consider the equation A to B. So R is equals to K, A to the power 0. Why the 0 is here? Because the reaction is zero order reaction. Now R is equals to minus dA by dt according to instantaneous rate. Why I am using these two expressions? Because I have to find expression to define rate constant for zero order reaction. Now as both of these expressions are representing the rate, so on comparing both equations, minus dA upon dt is equals to k a to the power 0 is a to the power 0. So minus dA upon dt is equals to k because a to the power 0 is 1. Now on rearranging the terms, dA is equal to minus k dt. Integration on integrating both the sides, integration of dA is equals to minus k dt. Now is this k is constant, so k will come out from the integration sign. So integration of dA is equals to minus k integration of dt. Now according to the formula, integration of dx is equals to x plus c. So the integration of dA is a, integration of dt is t. There is no need to write two different different constants. So I am writing constant on the reactant product on the sorry right hand side only. Now we have to calculate the value of c because we cannot define an expression with a constant. So at time is equals to 0 the concentration of A will be the initial concentration. So A0 is equals to C. On putting the value of A0 in equation 3 A is equals to minus KT plus A0. On rearranging the terms K is equal to A0 minus A upon T. This is the expression for rate constant for zero order reaction. Now the another topic is half life. What is half life as the name suggests the time at which concentration of reactant becomes half of its initial value becomes half of its initial value. So T is represented by T half this half is in subscript and A is represented by A0 by 2. On putting the values in the previous expression k is equals to a0 minus a upon t so it will be k is equals to a0 minus a0 by 2 upon t half so t half is equals to a0 upon 2k t half is equals to a0 upon 2k now photochemical reactions and decomposition of hi are the two examples of zero order reaction let's just understand the graphical representation of zero order reaction there are three graphs which we have to learn the first is between rate and concentration R is equal to K A to the power 0 which means the rate is independent of concentration so we will get this type of graph constant line across the along the concentration axis now the second graph is between half-life and initial concentration as you have seen half-life was equal to A0 upon 2K so it is equal to Y is equals to mx this is of form y is equals to mx equation of a straight line passing through origin okay now the third and a very important graph concentration versus time a0 minus a upon t was equal to k so kt is equals to a0 minus a on rearranging the terms a is equal to minus kt plus a0 this is the equation of a straight line y is equals to mx plus c having negative slope and c as an intercept so we can plot this graph for equation A is equals to minus KT plus A0. This is going downwards because of the negative slope. Okay, so this is for today and in the next video 
I am going to start with a first order reaction and some examples of zero order reaction more. Thank you.